Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to discuss electrical installation and maintenance, specifically MELC's LO2, request appropriate electrical supplies, materials, and tools applicable to a specific job. Are you ready to learn? I hope that you are because this is an interesting topic. So, let's start. Welcome to today's class, today's agenda. First, identify the different forms used in electrical installation and maintenance. Second, practice accomplishing forms accurately. And lastly, listen attentively and participate in the class discussion. Forms is a document with spaces in which to write or select for a series of documents with similar contents. The documents usually have the printed parts in common, except possibly for a serial number. Forms when completed may be a statement, a request, an order, or etc. Now, you must remember, when filling in forms, correctness of the entry of different forms used in electrical work is necessary in order to acquire right, complete, and accurate number of materials and tools needed in a specific electrical job. Now, let us discover the different types of forms. First, we have Purchase Requisition Form. It is a document generated by a user department or storeroom personnel to notify the purchasing department items it needs to order, their quantity, and the time frame. It may also contain the authorization to proceed with the purchase this is also called Purchase Request or Requisition. Inventory will come in next. These are the raw materials, work in process goods, and completely finished goods that are considered to be the portion of a business's assets that are ready or will be ready for sale. Inventory represents one of the most important assets that most businesses possess because the turnover of inventory represents one of the primary sources of revenue generation and subsequent earnings for the company's shareholders and owners. Job Order or Work Order Form As it states in its name, it is a written instruction to perform a work according to specified requirements within specified time frame and cost estimates. And lastly, Borrower's Form it is a form used to request for tools and equipment needed for a particular job. It indicates the department that the borrower is connected, the date, the job that is to be done, who is the person to approve the request, 
when it was returned and if it was in good condition. So, that is all for today. I hope that you have learned something meaningful that you can use in your daily life. If you have any questions regarding this topic or would like to learn more about other related concepts, please comment it down below. Also, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Surti. Thank you everyone and have a great day.